Welcome back AACPS staff. So far we've seen how to create a new calendar and how to add some events like due dates for your assignments to the calendar. You can see I went ahead and added a few additional dates to mine just so that we would have some good information to view. We're almost ready to add this calendar into our Brightspace but we've got one more stop before we do that and that is getting an additional calendar here like the AACPS calendar as we said previously, in addition to seeing due dates for your class, it might also be nice for students to be able to see when they have early dismissals and school closures and other district-wide events without you having to manually add those to your class calendar, but instead just add the AACPS calendar. So let's go through the steps of getting that calendar added here as well. So the first step is to go to the AACPS homepage and then you're going to want to select on the school calendar. Now right here at the top of the calendar, you have an option to get a link to this calendar. Right here, we have the link and we're ready to copy that. Now let's go back to Google Calendar. Once again, we're going to return to the option here towards the bottom left that says Other Calendars and we're going to add one. But instead of creating a new one, we're going to add one from a URL or a web address. Now we're going to paste in the link that we just copied to the AACPS calendar and just like we made our personal calendar publicly accessible, we're going to want to make sure we check that for this one as well or our students won't be able to see it when we add it to Brightspace. And now we click Add Calendar. The message at the bottom tells me that the calendar has been added so I can click out of the settings here in the upper left to return to my calendar. So now this calendar does not show up under the list of my calendars where it shows up is here under other calendars and all I have to do is select it or check it in order for the events to show up on my calendar along with my created events as well. So now we want to make sure that when we go to share that these two calendars are merged together. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to open those sharing settings for one of these calendars. So if I go to my Google and Brightspace calendar and I click back on my snowman and back on my settings and sharing, if I scroll all the way down to where I showed you in a previous video that we have an embed code here, what we're going to do is customize it because it tells me right here if I customize it I can have multiple calendars show up with this embed code. So I'm going to click customize and then over here on the left it shows me all of the calendars that I have that I can display with this embed code and I don't want all of these so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck everything except for my Google and Brightspace and my AACPS calendar so now the only two calendars that I have checked are that Google and Brightspace where I'm going to put each of uh, my class assignments and the AACPS calendar and right here at the top I have a customized embed code that only includes those two calendars. So I'm going to copy that and in my next video I'll show you how to add this to your Brightspace course.